do you have a symptom that you're suffering with or a health issue that's just not getting better, not responding to anything that you do or try? If so, you clicked on the right video. I'm going to explain why this can happen and tell you what you need to do. Hi, I'm Dr. Corey Stern and welcome to my channel, Take Control of Your Health. If you hadn't, haven't yet had a chance to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button now as this is my reward for doing these videos. If you like the content at the end of the video, please hit the like button because it helps more people to find it. And last and most importantly, please share this video with anyone you think might benefit from it. So let's talk a little bit about how your body can literally get stuck and not respond to anything that you're doing or trying. It could be the exact right thing, exactly what you need to help yourself, but it's not working. Or you do the exact right thing to help yourself and it actually makes you worse. Has that ever happened to you? So I want to explain a little bit about how your nervous system works and how this can happen and cause your nervous system to not respond properly. So when we're talking about the nervous system, we're talking about something called the autonomic nervous system. This is the nerve, the part of the nervous system that runs all your automatic functions. It runs your heart rate and your respiration rate and your hormone secretion and your digestion. It's that part of the nervous system that is automatic. You don't have to input anything. You don't have to give your body instructions. If you cut your finger, um, you don't have to tell your body what to do to start healing the cut. Your body will do it automatically. Now, there's two parts, two divisions to this nervous system. One division we call the parasympathetic division. That's the division that turns on or upregulates, comes into play when you're sleeping, when you're sleeping and resting and doing quiet activities. Also when you're digesting and healing. The other part of the nervous system is called the sympathetic nervous system, also known as the fight or flight response. That part of the nervous system turns on or upregulates when you're stressed, um, or when you're active, alert, working, exercising. Um, so these two parts, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic, turn on and off or up and down regulate throughout the normal you know, biological cycle, your 24-hour cycle, depending on the demands being made on your body. So let's say you lay down and go to sleep or try to go to sleep, you lay down, close your eyes, your, if your body is working right, your parasympathetic part of the nervous system should turn on. When you wake up in the morning and get up and start getting ready, getting dressed, getting ready to go to work, if your nervous system is working properly, your sympathetic nervous system should turn on or upregulate. But what happens if it doesn't? Let's say you lay down to go to sleep and your parasympathetic nervous system doesn't turn on. You're not going to sleep well. You might even feel like you didn't sleep at all. What if you wake up in the morning and your sympathetic nervous system doesn't turn on? You might feel like you're sleepwalking through your whole day. Like you should, you feel like you should be back in bed. So when this happens, when one or the other or even both divisions of the nervous system is not turning on correctly at the right time, we call that a blocked nervous system. Now, the other thing that can happen is that you lay down to go to sleep and your sympathetic nervous system turns on and then you're just laying there like wide awake, looking around, you want to get out of bed and actually start working, doing some some activity certainly not going to sleep well. Or the opposite, what if you go out for a run or go to exercise and your parasympathetic nervous system turns on, you're going to feel sluggish and like you, you have no energy, feel like you should be sleeping. When that happens, when they literally turn on at the incorrect time, 
it's called a switched nervous system. So your nervous system could be blocked. It could be switched. It could be both. When it's blocked, nothing that you do helps you. Let's say you have a headache and you take pain medication. It doesn't help. You're probably blocked. Let's say you have a headache and you take pain medication and it gets worse. That means you're probably switched. So when you're blocked, nothing happens. You're stuck. When you're switched, the opposite thing happens and something that should help you makes you worse. So this would apply to anything that you do or try, whether it's pharmaceuticals, whether it's natural supplements, whether it's <clears throat> a massage, chiropractic, acupuncture, any intervention, and you're just not getting results. Now, what causes this? And that is the million dollar question. So there are five main categories of things that can cause the nervous system to become blocked or switched. Those five things are toxic chemicals, heavy metals, toxic heavy metals, immune system challenges such as things like parasites, fungus, yeast, mold, bacteria, viruses, things like that. Um, foods, food sensitivities, the body being exposed to a food that is not good for it. And lastly, scars, scars on the surface of the skin, not internal scars, scars on your skin. So let's say you um, have a C-section, you're going to have a scar on your skin and also on your uterus. It's the scar on the skin that can cause the nervous system to become blocked or switched. For more information about how a scar can do that, please watch my video called uh, Can Scars Cause Health Issues? And I will put a link to that video in the description of this one. So those are the five main categories that can mess up your nervous system. Now, I'm not saying that those are the only things in the world that can mess up your nervous system, but those are the things that are most common. What else? Well, electromagnetic fields. So even your, your cell phone can do it. Um, or wearing devices close to your body that are producing electromagnetic fields like Fitbits and, and uh, those what is, Apple watches, things like that. Um, sometimes people are affected and people, some people are very sensitive. They're affected by having metal on their body. So metal frame eyeglasses or, you know, devices that they're carrying that are metal. Um, birth control devices that are inside your body like IUDs and some medications. Well, medications are toxic chemicals. Even some people are reactive to synthetic clothing, which is made out of chemicals. And synthetic clothing could actually block your natural electromagnetic field and mess up your nervous system. So the question is, what to do about it. And I'm going to give you some answers. But before I do that, I just want to talk to you about one of my favorite products that I use quite a bit. So this doesn't really have that much to do with health, but in a way it does. It is a natural anti wrinkle cream made out of marine plant stem cells and it is extremely effective. And it has all natural ingredients. It has aloe in it and hyaluronic acid and MSN and oil, olive oil and vitamin E, whole bunch of a uh, blend of essential oils and herbs. And I've been using this for a few years. So most of you know, at the time of this video, I'm 60 and I really see how well it works. When I stop using it, I notice a difference. So the reason that I'm talking about it is because so many people are using toxic products on their skin and toxic products can cause your nervous system to be blocked or switched. 
um, or people are injecting themselves with Botox, which is a toxin and other fillers, which are all toxic. So if you want a really effective uh, way of anti-aging your skin, um, you can put it anywhere. I use it mostly on my face and my, and my neck, but you can use it anywhere in your body. And it lasts a really long time. This is a 1.7 ounce jar for $75, but it will last you for three months. You don't need a lot of it. So this is on my website, drcorey.com. And on the drop down menu, click shop, and then you'll, you can find my skincare products there. So <clears throat> let me tell you about what you can do um, to determine if something is blocking or switching you. The easiest way to do it is to consult a practitioner like me. I can figure it out. Um, so if you really are struggling with a health issue um, that's not responding to anything, reach out to me. You can email me at questions at drcorey.com or go on my website and click schedule a virtual consult. But what you can also do is reduce your toxic load and take um, a good natural detox product. And I have a video about how to detox properly. And you can, um, I'll put a link to it here. You can see some of the detox products that I recommend there. I really think that everybody should be on some kind of detox, even if it's just gentle, kind of a daily defense against chemicals that you can't avoid that you're inhaling. And that includes metals as well. So be careful to not add other metals to your body, like with aluminum based antiperspirants and using aluminum cookware and things like that. If you suspect that you might have some kind of immune challenge, do something to just strengthen your immune system. If you think you're overgrown with bacteria, you don't have to take an antibiotic. There's plenty of natural support that you can do to help yourself. Um, again, I have an immune system video that gives you natural products that will help strengthen your immune system so that you don't end up with these hidden immune challenges that are messing up your nervous system. Next, food sensitivities. Well, it would be very intelligent to avoid processed foods because that's really what causes inflammation in your body and get and sets you up to have sensitivities to begin with. But also, even sometimes so called healthy foods can, may not be healthy for you, they may cause a problem in your body. I had a patient once with a terrible rash around her mouth that just wouldn't go away and we finally figured out it was being caused by asparagus. So just because it's healthy doesn't mean it's good for you. What I would recommend that you do is do a food symptom journal. So write down everything you're eating and drinking for a couple of weeks and how you're feeling. And doing this, you can easily spot foods that make you feel ways that you don't wanna feel. So I can't eat rice because it gives me joint pain. So this is something I know. I can't really eat much dairy. There are some raw cheeses I can eat, and goat cheese, but I can't eat too much cow dairy, even raw, because it causes constipation. So everybody has different reactions to different foods. And doing a food symptom journal is a very easy way to figure it out. And then lastly, scars. As I said, I'm gonna put my scar video and take a look at it if you have scars, especially in the midline of your body. So if you've had surgery um, on your thyroid, heart, open heart surgery, a C-section, a circumcision is a scar, uh, scars in the midline, that includes piercings, you know, tongue piercings, nose piercings, all of these things can cause problems with the nervous system. Very easy solution, using a, doing a wee germ oil massage and doing a low level light laser treatment. So if you do have some scars on your body, no matter how old they are, it doesn't matter. Um, even, if, even if they were from you know, infancy 
In fact, the older the scar is, the more likely it, it has had time to cause a problem in your body. Um, you want to do a scar treatment. It can hurt. Um, it can only help you. So I hope this information was helpful. Please, again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I love to see my channel growing. Please hit the like button if you think this was helpful and share this with anyone that you think might have a blocked or switch nervous system. And like I said, if you're really struggling, don't hesitate to reach out to me for help. I can help you. I hope that you will stay well until I see you again soon.